When we stent a vessel, it helps to scaffold the coronary artery open. But that need for a metal stent is really only a temporary need. The benefit of this new technology is it will help to maintain the vessel, keep the vessel open for that critical 90 days, but when the stent is no longer needed, it'll actually disappear or melt. Now, if you think about the size of this device, it's very similar to the spring on my ink pen. And that tells you the size of the coronary arteries are actually very small. Now, here we have a very magnified view of the biodegradable stent. And so what happens is when this is placed in the coronary artery, it comes in contact with blood and therefore water. And through a process called hydrolysis, it begins to dissolve. Uh, I started having pain in my chest uh, about three or four years ago. In May, I ran a race 26 miles back in Philadelphia, came back to Scottsdale, and almost immediately got sick. I went to the uh, emergency room, and they went up and found a couple of very, very clogged arteries. One was over 90% blocked, and the other is 80% blocked, and I think a third is 10% blocked, and I'm sure a couple weeks, a couple months, I would have probably had a massive heart attack. In the case of Mr. Taylor, he's a runner. Runners, when they begin to exercise, we see the coronary arteries dilate and constrict. That's part of the normal physiology. Once you cage a vessel with uh, a, a metal stent, that is lost forever. Even though the metal stents are wonderful, the idea that I have that in there and it's gonna do its job and then it's gonna stay there for the rest of my life, just I'd, I'd rather it not be there. So when Dr. Rizik told me about the biodegradable, it was like, whoa, that sounds pretty good to me. When you talk about the benefits of the new technology, one of the very clear benefits is the ability for that vessel to expand and contract or to dilate and contract. So we've been involved not only in the research uh, on this technology, but also in publishing papers uh, that, that led to uh, FDA approval. The FDA approval today of the fully dissolvable stents is the culmination of a decade of work from Dr. Isaac and his team. The investigators at the Honor Health Research Institute bring these new technologies to patients so they get that experience, they get those options, and doctors have those options when there may be few options for these complicated patients. I've, over the years, doctors that I've seen, when I tell them the kind of running I do, most of them think I'm crazy, which probably isn't a big stretch. And I said to him, I want to get back running. He said, okay, I'll get you back running. I think this is a moment in time, and when we look back at this revolutionary technology, we may look back at it like on the first heart transplant or the first bypass surgery. This is a real revolution in coronary treatment technology that will benefit our patients.